Welcome to World Box. Today we're gonna have the Four Kingdoms fight on a map where the biome changes every 10 years. We're starting out on the grass biome, keeping it pretty standard, keeping it pretty uh, easy, nothing too crazy. But then every 10 years, we will be spinning a wheel to see which biome comes up next. I put all 12 biomes. I did not put tundra or wasteland or uh, just desert because those ones are a lot more complicated to place and if I was to cover the map with acid to turn it into wasteland that would just kill everyone so we only did the ones that we can place with seeds so just if you're wondering why I did that a part of me wants to do all of one race but we're gonna we're gonna do one of each okay let's start this thing so the orcs are super OP so we're gonna give them a little less population as everyone else which I hate having to do but that's what they make me do you know so let's give them eight let's give everyone else like 12 let's give the elves 13 because they're superbly weak now um de poes de poes clan gil sour stones am hedgeom huh hedgemoni Hegemony? Bruh. Alright, we're just gonna call them by their races. I ain't reading these every time. Okay, so what year is it? 36! Okay, we'll start out with year 40, because, uh, because I want to get this show on the road. Times 5 speed, heck yeah, let's go. Look at them, they're all cozy. Oh, look at this nice little green pasture Aww. we get to live in. Oh, I'm so happy here, I love it. What's that? The entire world's about to change to a jungle. Yeah, that's not bad. You guys will be all right. Ooh. Man, if they got candy, that would be really bad. Okay, jungle. So this this whole thing might help the elves more than anyone because a lot of the biomes, a lot of the tougher biomes have pretty intense wildlife, you know, like the rhinos in the savanna, and all that, but since the elves are neutral to most wildlife, they're gonna be safe in most biomes. Now, ones like the candy biome or crystal biome, they won't be, but you know, this biome will be pretty safe for everyone. It's just monkeys, who cares, you know? But if the savanna biome comes up for them, that'll be kind of an advantage for them, but a disadvantage to everyone else. Also, if, if we get corrupted biome, I put it in. If we get corrupted biome, I don't know what the heck's gonna happen. We make the entire map corrupted biome, can they even survive 10 years in the corrupted biome? I really don't know. Also, I realize I probably should pause the game while I'm placing the new biome. So, uh, it's already year 46. Oopsie doopsie. My bad. So far, everyone's pretty even. Elves are in the lead. But we knew that they would do that. We just also know that they got nerfed. Like, their base damage got cut in half, I think. So, they're super weak in a fight now. So... Population, schmopulation. It's not going to do them any good. Humans up at 40, though. Dwarves are already starting to fall behind at 32. Orcs at 33. So I think our biggest contenders here are going to be orcs and humans. Let's go ahead and change the colors here. We have, like, too many kingdoms that are all, like, the same color. You guys are going to be orange. And you guys have to be green because you're elves, don't you know? That's the rule. You guys can be something saucy. Let's make you yellow. There you go. Okay. So it's year 50. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and just wait till 60 to get the next biome to get ourselves back on track. Jungle's a pretty neutral biome, not a big problem there. Okay, we see an armies form. The orcs are in the lowest population. It'd be good if they take a little while to start up because if they get started up too quickly, they're just gonna kill everyone. Okay, year 60. Let's do it. The world will now change from jungle to savanna. All right. I am interested to see what happens with this. Here we go. Okay, let's see. All right, so as we know, we're gonna get a bunch of rhinos in here pretty soon. That will be a problem for everyone except for the elves because they just love rhinos so much. Or rather, the rhinos love them, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't ask. Dwarves, 67, 59. I feel like I just saw their... Yeah, their population's kind of struggling a little bit, maybe. Eh, probably just old age. The usual. Okay, 66. You know, let's do it every 15 years, I think. No, 10 years is fine. I don't know. It's t 10 feels too often, honestly. Or does it? I don't know. Let's see how 15 feels. Maybe we'll do 20. I realize 10 goes really fast. You know what they say? Time flies when you're having fun, you know what I mean? It's 
It's also funny that the elves dipped into last place during Savannah Biome. You think this would be their time to shine. Everyone else has to deal with rhinos, but they don't. What you guys doing, eh? Humans about to break 100. There we go. Nice work. Probably followed soon by who's gonna do it first? 98, 98. 100. All right, nice work. All right. The orcs are starting to look like they're figuring it out, you know? So it's all coming together. Okay. Yeah, let's do every 20 years. Here we go. Here comes year 20. Boom. What else we got here? Savannah now becomes... Ooh, Crystal would be cool. Lemon? All right, I'll take it. How do you like them lemons? This has got to be so confusing for them, you know? Especially considering 20 years is a really long time when you're living it at a normal speed. So, you know, you get used to things being a certain way and then on the dot after 20 years, literally your entire world changes and suddenly there's giant lemons everywhere. I wouldn't be mad though if it happened to me, you know? Everyone could use a little change of scenery every once in a while. Sometimes I get bored. So this one should be pretty, uh fair to everyone. There's nothing really dangerous about this biome. It's just the lemon people are cool, I think. Why do I feel like the orcs and the lemon people wouldn't get along? Maybe they don't. We'll find out, I guess. I do hope that 20 years is long enough for us to actually get spawns. Where are my lemon boys at? Um, lemon boys? You out there? Oh, we got a war going on. Humans just declared war on elves. You know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna change their names. It's kind of boring, I get that, but let's just change their names to what they are. Okay, so the elves are at war with humans. Humans are at war with the dwarves and the elves. Dwarves are at war with the humans, and the orcs are at peace with everyone? Huh? What kind of backwards world is this? Looks like the lemon juice is making everyone go mad. Oh my. Dang. Oh, what the? They all just ate a bunch of lemons. Did you see that little lemon icon? I don't know what that was. Okay, so the elves are doing some damage down here to the lower human village. The humans are kind of in a bad situation for being at war with two people at the same time. Oh no, not the windmill. Dang, okay. Well, I like I said earlier, I thought the humans had a good chance of winning this thing, but it's not looking super good now. Their population's fine, but yeah, they're getting attacked from both sides. Orcs just declared war on the dwarves. Where are the lemon people? Find a lemon person. I know you just got here, but could you help out in the war a little bit? Also, do you think lemons drink lemonade? Actually, that's gross. Don't think about that. Okay, the humans are like gonna lose. This is it for them. Just like that. Dang. Okay, in seven more years we change biomes. I do actually want to see corrupted biomes. <laughs> no joke. Oh no, the dwarves. The orcs out here destroying them. Dang, I would not want to be at war with the orcs. They are scary. Uh oh. Okay, the dwarves are heading back home. Oh, the one general. Save the town! You got this, bro. Oh, you don't got this, bro. I'm sorry. Okay, so the dwarves are gone. One more year until we change biome. We got 225 to about 150. That's interesting, because elves are way ahead in population, but they're so weak compared to the orcs in damage, so something tells me the orcs could still win this one. But let's go ahead and get ourselves a new biome. Corrupted, corrupted, corrupted. If we get one we've already gotten, we'll re-roll as well. Yeah, let's re-roll for grass or savanna. Let's actually remove them. Let's remove all the ones we've done. We're here to see new stuff. Boom. Okay, here we go for real. Just something interesting. Mushroom? Guys, for the sake of the video, I know. I don't like to interfere too much, but let's not do mushroom. Okay, that's lame. All the other ones we have left are super interesting. Mushroom doesn't do anything, so let's skip that. Crystal? or crystal okay let's remove it for next time crystal biome okay so this is bad for both of them well i don't know about bad i think yeah no i think bad right it's only the dwarves that are neutral with the crystal giants and crystal swords right and neither of them really benefit more than the other by having increased like mining spawns so it all kind of works out so i don't know how this will affect them I just know that the uh, local resource, the crystal salts, has a chance of giving you madness. So hopefully they don't gobble down too much of that crystal salt, you know. Don't do drugs, kids. Okay, so the dwarves are officially destroyed. I thought they already were, but now it's official. We got 260 and 160, and I think they're at peace right now. Yeah, they're at peace. 
So for now, they're at peace, but in like 13 years, I'll be changing biomes, and we're running out of other biomes. We've got Swamp, whatever, Corrupted, ooh, Enchanted would be interesting. Arcane Sands, nothing too crazy there, but it is new. Candy Biome would be pretty crazy to watch, and then Infernal Biome as well. There, there's, there are three really dangerous biomes and three kind of like either neutral or positive biomes. So 50-50 out here. So 300, 180. They are far enough ahead where they could technically do this. You know, they could win this one. It's not impossible. Just, they're just living their lives. Can we find, there's still a lemon guy in here. He's like, what is going on? Where's my home? I kind of feel bad for him, huh? There's actually a couple of them. Look at that, it's funny. Okay, three more years. I do believe the crystal people are not friendly right? I know I've seen them attack humans before. I just assume that they attack. I know that they most likely attack orcs as well, but I'm just kind of like, oh, there we go. There's orc fighting one, but I want to see the elves fight them. Oh, it's time to change. Okay, here we go. What are we going to get? Corrupted. Oh my. Oh my. All right. I don't even know what's going to happen right now. I've never done an entirely corrupted map before. So, because we're only doing it for 20 years, they might be able to survive those 20 years without having a skeleton, you know, plague happen, but it's really up to how it goes down. Because 20 years, definitely some people will die of old age and turn into skeletons and ghosts, and also maybe someone will declare war on the other during that time. It would be very wise for both of them to stay at peace until year 150 when we change again, because a war would pretty much mean the end of both of them, I think. Yikes, this is gonna be scary to watch. Okay, so we got <laughs> we got crystal people still out here. And where's our lemon boys at? Okay, so how long do you have to be incorrupted to get cursed? Okay, it's happening. Can you not get cursed if you're wise or something? Everyone in here is wise. What's up with that? Okay, here we go. There's cursed. Uh, still no war. Good for them. We got 10 more years of this. I don't see any anything too crazy. I don't see any skeleton battles going. I see a little bit over here. But as long as it's only a few at a time, everyone will be fine. It's when they start to grow in numbers, it's really hard to stop it. Okay, we got 435 and 300. Orcs are still pretty far behind. Orcs are still pretty far behind, but the elves are not as ahead as they need to be. They honestly should have declared war when it was like 150 to 250, when or elves almost had double the population, but now they're only up by like 100. Okay, four more years. Hang in there, boys. The thing... Oh, I just realized something too. Even when we change the biome, everyone will still be cursed. So they're not even safe after that. Everyone will still have to eventually turn into a skeleton or a ghost anyway. So it, it ain't even over after that. So one more year, and then at least people will stop getting cursed. That'll be interesting. Okay, here we go. I'd be down for any of these. I think candy would be the most interesting to see. Arcane Sands. Arcane Sand. Alrighty then. It's okay, guys. The nightmare is over. You're no longer in a land of evil. Now you're in the desert full of snakes. Actually, yeah, that's true. There are snakes in this biome. And elves are neutral to snakes, so that'll be an advantage for them. I don't care who wins, obviously, I'm very curious, but I do feel like it's kind of... It could go either way at this point. It actually could, because elves seem like they're way up, but we've seen how the orcs can just annihilate people. Okay, you see the skeletons still popping up here and there? I know I left a couple little... Is biome overgrowth not on? It's on. Go away. Go away. Go away! Listen here, punk. I'm the boss around here. There you go. Okay, the map is filling in. They're still at peace. The elves keep moving their way up here and take over this area. They might be able to just box the orcs in because they're kind of spreading. Look at this. They're like wrapping around the edge of the orcs here. So if they could just keep the orcs from expanding at all, they might have a chance. Because, oh, they're up by 200 population now. Looks like it's already happening. The orcs population is going up really slow. And the elves is also going up very slow for some reason but we know that they're capable of great things and that's what matters i don't think arcane sands is really going to affect anyone at all it looks like nothing's changed it's a pretty neutral biome there's like desert berries that can poison you or whatever but just don't eat them it's that simple oh we got war 
But I also know that we're, oh, it's 170. All right, what biome are we gonna have for the war? Swamp? Boo, imagine candy biome. Okay, swamp, fine. As far as I know, swamp doesn't really do much now. I, I think when you're in the swamp, you're a little bit slower, but that really doesn't matter if everyone's in the swamp, so no harm there. I don't like how it looks so much like corrupted. I keep confusing it for corrupted. It's more like black and corrupted's more purple, but whenever I see swamp, I'm always like, uh oh, that's corrupted, because I am not remembering that this is what swamp looks like now. Doesn't help that the trees are purple. Continuing on, we've got what? like six armies on the elves side moving in to attack and then we've got orcs coming up top here this is where we're really going to see who's better at fighting because the elves have way more armies but the orcs armies are way stronger so is the power in numbers or in strength let's find out uh so far the orcs are oh actually everyone is is going at it how are we doing here? 650, 340. You know what? The elves could take this one. They got all these orc armies back here, though, but they've just got so much... Uh-oh. No, they don't. Their armies are, like, dead. Well, the orc armies, too, I guess. Dang, okay. Well, looks like it's not gonna be that easy, eh? There they go. The orcs not only do more damage now, but they still have regeneration, so they heal when they're not fighting. And then the elves got a huge damage nerf, so... What is going on here? <laughs> the heck? Like I had a shield. Can they get shields on their own now? Oh wait, that's part of the swamp, isn't it? That's like the swamp resource. You can get the shield. Right? Didn't I read that? That's the only explanation that makes sense. I think I read that. 400 to 500. Dang, the orcs are doing it. They're turning it around. The elves population is going down so much, but the orcs is actually still going up even in the middle of the war because they're just not losing very many soldiers in the actual war. Yikes, dude. Okay, three more years, and we get a new biome. I don't think there's anything that we could get to turn this around for the elves, but at least, like, candy biome would make it more interesting. Actually, infernal as well, which I believe... Well, all three of those would make it pretty interesting. So, it's 190. Let's see. Something to make things a little more interesting. Candy biome. Okay, we got the killer gingerbread men and gummy bears. All right, this is gonna be sweet. <laughs> okay, so elves are down in population, and I don't know if we'll even go long enough to change the biome again. We'll see if they last 20 years of this, um, but the orcs are pretty determined to uh, kill them all. We'll see if we get any gingerbread men involved the elves are attacking over here. They got like, what, five people? <laughs> I feel like you guys are better off defending, you think? We got like four little squads down here. And then we got one up here. Oh, it looks like they're backing up for now. Yeah, I don't know about this one, boys. Those poor, poor elves. They got nerfed so hard. They lost with like a 300 population lead. And not even like they put up a good fight either. The, the orcs just like are wiping them out and not even like caring it's like no sweat so sad i don't know why they nerfed the elves and buffed the orcs honestly i liked them better how they used to be that's my one complaint for this update don't get me wrong i love the candy biome i like all the other new stuff but why would you nerf my boys and then buff the ones that nobody likes you know why would you do that they were already kind of op but hey the elves are gone wait what the heck they made peace and they're hanging out on this island back here is this the good ending is this where we let it be? Do we let them exist in harmony? I mean, in three more years, we get a new biome. Oh, they got two. Yeah, there's there's just there's just no way they're gonna win, so. What's the point? But we're gonna let them play it out. Maybe they have a plan. Okay. We've got two more biomes left to go. Looks like we're getting infernal. And then if they survive another 20 years, we'll be getting enchanted. How about if they survive infernal and enchanted like if they survive 40 more years we'll just give it to them we'll say hey they survived against the orcs orcs obviously still win but we won't you know we'll let them live if they survive through the entire game cycle they should get an award for that all right here we go infernal and i wonder if there's still lemon people around that would be pretty funny huh there we go get some spicy trees up in here boom maybe some uh 
Yeah, there we go. Continuing on. So if they can make it to year 250, we'll let them live. Just little patches of candy still. Let's see if we can find any creatures from previous biomes that are still around. Oh, we got crystal people out here on this island. What? <laughs> that was like six biomes ago. Yeah, they might be the only ones though. I think everyone on the actual mainland got killed during the, the war. So sad. So needless. Okay, ten more years until Enchanted. Oh, we got a lemon guy out here. Look at that. Hanging out with the crocodile. Two lemon guys. Lale and Lily. Very creative names. Very creative names. And we got Crab Island out here. It's always a crab island. Okay, still no war. Elves 120, orcs 775. Uh, I think we know what's gonna happen here. Four more years though, we get enchanted. It's just a matter of whether or not the orcs want them to live, you know? Because the orcs, have, they can just wipe them out in the blink of an eye. But will they have mercy on them for the next 22 years? We'll see. I'm sure the elves hope so. Okay, let's do it. Okay, enchanted. So, Enchanted gives everyone the blessed trait, which just gives them more health. So that's cool. I think it does something else too, but I think at least more health. It just makes them stronger in general. And uh, yeah, I think the fairies are neutral to everyone. At least they're neutral to the elves, of course. So maybe it's an advantage for them. The final 20 years, can they survive the final 20 years without going to war? If they can, we'll let them live. Crystal Boy's still out here? You go, dude. Hang in there. Infernal, like, didn't do anything to anyone. <laughs> 20 years does go pretty quick, but I like how quick it is. I don't think we even got any fiery spawns. Oh, war. Orcs declare war on the elves. Can they live for 13 years? 12 years? Something tells me no, but then again... Oh, yeah, no way, dude. They're done for. Look at this. Oh, no. Maybe they'll declare peace again at the last second. Maybe they'll leave this island down here alone. Not the windmill. Please don't break the windmill. I love the windmill so much. No! Not the windmill. Is that it? I haven't seen the official word yet. Are they still? Yeah, they're still out there somewhere. They got a boat or something? What could possibly be left? This fishing boat? <laughs> Very cool. Hey, look. Can this fishing boat make it three more years? Two more years? Oh! No, he can't. He exploded. You know, just like fishing boats tend to do. And orcs just pass a thousand population just to rub it in our faces and how OP they are. And look, 250. There it is. That kind of worked out perfectly, honestly. We got to use every single biome pretty much up to the very last year. And, uh, I mean... I guess we should have known the orcs would win, but, you know, we gave them a little disadvantage at first. I gave them the most, like, kind of crowded starting spot to slow them down to, and even that wasn't enough, so. Oh well, hey, that was fun. I enjoyed that. I was thinking we could do variations of this. We could do this same thing again, but with all of the same race, maybe, and maybe give out traits to each kingdom. Let me know your ideas below. I always get a couple good ideas in every comment section that I always will screenshot or whatever. Keep that coming. I really appreciate that, so... Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. If you want to, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time.